Good morning. My name is Shanna. Welcome to my channel. I'm not a blue ribbon quilter. My focus is on keeping people warm. So I want to make a quilt that is warm and sturdy as quickly as possible. So you guys, I know it's been a minute since you've heard from me, but we've been so busy. You'd think at at, in our 70s, we wouldn't be this busy, but but we have been crazy. So, we have renovated this table. Honeydew is just simply amazing. And so, the table is ready for free motion quilting. What you see in front of you is actually the next quilt is a width of fabric and... And here it is. This is going to be the color scheme. And so it's next. The quilt after that is going to be a bona fide, as you saw me make before, a fat quarter quilt. <laughs> but I'm going to split the seam allowances. So I've got four, um, I think you'd call these nine by nine by ten, and so <clears throat> the blocks will be, you know, split and uh, staggered. So that's what's next. I've got to show you this incredible treasure trove. What you see here. And this pile is 87 fat quarters. When I was looking for this table, I hit every consignment shop and junk store in the area. I bet I drove a solid three hours looking. And it was really good exercise, I'll say that, but oh, I was tired. So, I found this table. Honeydew's instructions were, get a table that I'm not going to feel bad about chopping up. <laughs> this table is solid wood, made in Malaysia. Um, there's no particle board, nothing. This, not, not even plywood. This is solid wood. Legs, aprons, the whole nine yards. And so... He completed the project yesterday. The hardest part of the whole shooting match, trust me, was getting the contact paper on. <laughs> but we did it after, you know, some expletives deleted and, <laughs> and some aggravation. But we got it done. Now, to the fat quarters. I walked into a junk shop looking for the table. And there was tub after tub after tub of fat quarters and my inside my soul I was screaming I can't do this right now I have to find a table so I just sucked it up and walked out so it was an hour and a half later that I found the table <laughs> and I went straight back to that junk shop and I loaded up what I had cash to pay for at the moment and so it was it was several days later before I could go back. <clears throat> and so what you see between this pile and, and these 12 is 87 fat quarters. I hope y'all are sitting down. Beloveds, I spent 50 cents a piece for these fat quarters. I'm sorry, but... When the favor of God falls on you, it is such a beautiful thing. That's two dollars for a yard of fabric. I will be making a lot of quilts in the days to come because of these 50 cent fat quarters. I also went and to the Goodwills 
and I found sheets, beautiful 100% cotton sheets to do the backing for the fat quarter quilts. I've processed two of them. I have another one to process and and what I'm doing is taking off the hems and honestly it is easier heads up here's a tip it's easier to rip these sheets and you rip them um, across the grain um, sheets are manufactured selvage to selvage okay and so once you get that top hem off rip it off come down an inch from the top uh, hem cut a notch and rip it the fabric will rip according to the grain and give you a straight edge to cut or rip from then i simply came down 18 or 19 i think it was 19 inches made a slit and ripped it again and that's how i processed the entire sheet i i have three i processed two and so i have a lot of fabric for fat quarters and to to do the backing for these so um Keep that in mind. Um, they're out there. Uh, I went to. I found the best ones at uh, Goodwill. Unfortunately, I did buy some microfiber, not realizing that they were microfiber, until I got them home, and I simply put them back in our donation box that we that we take frequently. We we always keep a a donation box going around here because we're constantly purging and so that's where those got put back into the river <laughs> but um i will continue to look for cotton sheets to back these quilts with i wanted to know i, I wanted to let y'all know what's been going on how we're doing what's up next I'll be making more videos now that literally the dust has settled. And I just so love this little machine. She's a hard-working little girl. And so I'm hoping to get better at free motion, especially on something like the Fat Quarters. I'm just really excited about doing that. So I love y'all to pieces. I appreciate you so much. I'm up to 360 subscribers. I never dreamed y'all would love on me like that. So anyway, I will go and uh, blow my nose. Y'all have a blessed day. I love you to pieces. And we'll talk to you later.